This is Twit. You uh, are working with some fun stuff in your in your studio, in your space, in your home, uh, and it is time for you to tell us all about it. You've got buttons and beacons and boo boos and babas. What's going on over there? I'm gonna see. I'm gonna click the button. Can you hear it? There's a little bit oh, of foley going on. Yeah. Are, well, if you're watching, you can see all of my lights changing because I've got the hue button set up. Finally, it actually. I ordered replacement batteries because if previous listeners will know that I tried to live stream it, it completely failed because it was just dead. And I didn't know that before I started. So now it's got a new one of those CR220 batteries or something like that, just the flat ones. But it's just a tiny little white button. And um, what was even nice, I was telling you before we started the show, was it almost like set itself up in a way. Like I yeah, added it this is into HomeKit's. And then um, basically it like when you go into the Hue app, then you can sync with HomeKit. And as it did that, it knew that it was in the office where I placed it. And then it just had a bunch of settings set for this. So I basically was like talking to somebody um, on a video chat and was like, oh, yeah, I finally got my button set up and pressed it and all the lights turned off. And I was like, what? Like I didn't even do anything and it was already working. But um yeah, I was talking to Chris Lawley, who has a YouTube channel, and he basically covers iPad and Siri shortcuts like I do. Um, we are going to collaborate on a future live stream and stuff. Um, but basically, he has his setup with a home automation, which then in the home automations now, you can use a function called convert to shortcut. And then he uses like a URL that sends a web request to his time tracking service. So he can literally just press a button and clock in and clock out of like his time tracker, which is pretty cool. Oh, that is very cool. But yeah, I mean, now it's just like, this is my mobile office lights. And um, I think it's like as you, uh, oh yeah, part of the, what was set up by default is Hue has like, depending on the time of day, it will automatically have um, the color temperature change so during the daytime it'll be more white and as i get into the evening it'll automatically set it to be yellow and stuff like that which is is amazing like i didn't i was gonna basically try to figure out how to set that up and it just already did it by default so they've got some good engineering going on there with the basic cube button stuff um one thing to know if anybody is getting smart buttons like this um i have a set from flick also which has been doing buttons for a while um but uh, whoop, I totally just blanked what I was going to say. Oh, yeah. Um, it's <laughs> You have to set it up usually in their app or in HomeKit, but not both, where you, you add the accessory so it still shows as a button. But then all of the functions, if you customize them in HomeKit, it kind of overrides what they can do separately. Um, this is the same of the I have a Logitech Pop, which I, was, I think I was saying in a past episode I use for like... Uh, turning off the bedroom lights and turning on our sound machine. But um, that's also set up in their app because in, in HomeKit, you can only have just like single button presses. Or now I guess use, I'm going to take that back because the same convert to shortcut feature, you can have if statements and all that fanciness. So it can be like, if it's already on, turn it off. And if it's off, turn it on. But I feel like you could get into a repeating loop there or something like that. Right, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. It's just like on, off, on, off, on. Like <laughs> that is a bit. Yeah. that becomes a bit of an issue for sure. <laughs> but like the, I'm. I think I'm probably gonna. I gotta figure out if I can save this, but I'll probably reprogram this to be my own time time tracking thing too, because then that is like I can stick it in my little jean pocket as I go around the day, <laughs> <laughs> and then start and stop. Because like time tracking is like you want to be accurate in theory and I just tend to forget it. So having this little lump in my pocket might work. Now is, <laughs> that was weird, but <laughs> uh, yeah, just a little bit. Um, <laughs> but whatever it takes, you know, 